Okay, so the second method is the scatter graph method. Now, the, the thing with the um, high-low method is that you might have some weird points that just don't kind of add up. Um, and so you don't want to use those points. So the scatter graph method literally is a graph that you can look at to kind of see if you have any outliers, any sort of weird points that you don't want to use, anything that you don't, you feel it is not part of your sort of plan or part of that slope. Okay, so let's go ahead and if you can see the slope here. So this one looks kind of weird. This one looks kind of weird. Even this one isn't directly on the slope there. Okay. Um, all right, so what they've done is they've taken those out um, and then we're going to use, again, the high point and the low point um, to get our high and low. Now, the thing is that this also gives us some other information. So things that you want to point out are that there are three dots above the line, five dots below the line, and that's going to give us some additional information. That is probably going to tell us that our variable costs that we just did maybe with the high-low method is maybe higher than we thought it would be. Fixed cost is maybe lower than we thought it was going to be. Um, and then here, as you can see, it really appears that way. So this really gives us a visual of our high-low method. Um, and as you can see here, there's a infinite number of lines that can go through here, but this one in particular goes through uh, January, where you have the 100 at the 200, so your low, and it does intersect at the y-axis at 800. So that may be a good point to use. So here we used the 2,000 at 100, and then z at zero, you have 800, so maybe that's your fixed cost. When you're producing zero, you still have a cost of 800. So just another way to kind of think about maybe these are two points that I want to use. Um, so in this case, you have a variable rate of 12, um, and then you can go ahead and figure out what your um, fixed cost is going to be, and I can't remember offhand. I think, yeah, we had a variable rate of um, 13.75 and a fixed rate of 6.25 before. So it is a little bit different. So um, just another way to look at the um, a method of separating out your fixed and variable costs. Um, and what they're doing here is they're just predicting what the costs would be um, using that formula if they had the 350 moves for November. Um, so if they did that, then it would be 5,000. Um, so again, maybe not one of the best, but if you have a good set of data, um, it can be a quick way to figure out your fixed and variable costs. We are not going to be doing the method of least squares or the regression method. Um, it's, an, it's done in Excel. Um, we can go through it if you want to and kind of figure out how you want to do, if you want to do it. Um, but I'm not going to ask you anything about it. I'm not going to ask you to do it. Um, but it's just using Excel to get through that regression. So I think that's all we're going to use for um, chapter three.